Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Noodles. Lots of noodles. Or, hola. Noodles for days, in fact. It's, it's Chinese food. Hola. Noodles for days, in fact. I mean, we're going to be having this for breakfast tomorrow. Well, Chinese Thai. I'm having pad thai. A very popular uh, chicken pad thai, uh, thai dish in America. And I've had them make it extra spicy. I can see crushed red peppers all in it. So, let's pour our drinks. Cause, oh, yeah. Le main with chicken. Nothing else. So, let's pour I'm our very drinks. Thirsty. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I did it just like you. I was like, wow. Yeah. Look at that. Technical difficulties. We popped our mic. <laughs> Excellent. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if that made a loud bang. Like that. I just dropped my chicken. Sorry for the technical difficulties. We are so hungry. We're just being clumsy. The noodles are a little bit boxy coming out of, the, out of that carton. Well, that chicken is like really chewy. I wish I had some chopsticks. I have some. I mean, I just, I don't know where they're at. Why do you want them? I'm eating Asian noodles. I just, you know how I am. I go to a Chinese buffet. I, I eat 90% of it with chopstick. It's kind of neat. You know, I've ate with a fork a billion times. How's that? Very good. Who's it? We tried a different place than our normal one. Yeah, we forgot to say that. It's Panda China. And it's on the other side of town, but I saw I saw where they had... Um, you're just a mess today. Technical difficulties um, again. Where they had some Thai dishes. And I was like, I got to go there because I love Pad Thai. There's this place in Fort Bragg. They had this large buffet, Thai, and that place they packed with military. And I don't know, I hadn't been there forever and went by and, and it was a strip mall now. That whole restaurant was gone. They're probably somewhere in Fayetteville. They relocated, but where, I don't know. I ought to try to figure out that, figure that out sometime. Because he could still probably find something he would eat, even... On a Thai buffet. Well, they'll have some sort of I'm chicken. Sure, I'm sure they'll have chicken wings, stuff like that. In other words, I'll find something I'll eat. I always do. Because if a place has chicken, I'll eat it. And if a place doesn't sell chicken, I'm out of there. But almost every restaurant has chicken. <laughs> I love soda and I'm drinking it very fast. And I'll be out of soda soon. Maybe I can go grab us another soda before both. My out. soda it won't that long we took them out of the refrigerator. It already feels hot, but the house is kinda hot. I've been going to work all day and I kinda turned up the thermostat a little bit, try to save a few dollars. The house was a little bit toasty, but it's still terribly hot in North Carolina. Have you been watching any of the Olympics? Oh, that reminds me. I've been doing this project at school. You know, Google Spreadsheet has all those little boxes. Having them, you'll never use. And you keep on adding rows. I have seventy-six thousand rows on my computer just because I kept on sitting there clicking until it said, "You can't do this anymore. It'll fill up your space." So, 
we were doing this Google spreadsheet in our classroom of we have to pick five countries and we have to add up their uh, gold, silver, and bronze winnings every day. Uh huh. So, and then at the end of the week, we have to see um, who had the most and stuff. And like, it's just basically adding them all up. Um, no idea what he's talking about. Uh huh. If you're in fifth grade and in my class, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know if that had to do with the Olympics, but all right. Well, it has to. Well, it does. We pick five countries in the Olympics, mm -hmm. and then we add up how many medals they win every day, because there's always the Olympics going on every day, and then we, at the end of the week, we'll total it all up. Well, after the Olympics are over, we'll total it all up. I checked a little bit out before I went to bed last night, some of the diving, synchro diving men, and some women swimming. I love the, the Summer Olympics. I love the swimming, diving, um, volleyball, any of that stuff's pretty fun. He could have probably been, he could have probably, if he was like younger than he is now, when like, um, was still as athletic as he used to be in swimming, he could probably be almost an Olympic person. Swimming. That was the first sport I ever did as a child. I was on, on swim teams. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm still pretty much a fish in water. He's very good at swimming. Because of that, younger in my life, you know, I, I don't live for watching people swim, but I mean, it's a few times every four years, you know, I'll watch, see how good they do individually and then. You know, I'm not going to lose no sleep over it if I don't see it. But. but you just, you grab a bag of chips and you watch some, you know. My arm's getting tired. I sat there and kept on eating and eating with it. Your drink has been about that full for like 10 minutes now. Be sure to check out Mukbang Central on Google Plus Communities. I'm sorry. <laughs> we can have some discussions. Start one. I'll check in. I'll chime in. I'd like to start some discussions, but <clears throat> being if I'm the only one that's joined it, It'd be a discussion with nobody. Just you. <laughs> you can make a couple different Google accounts and be like, hey, this is cool. Oh, yeah, this is cool. And you're like on your account. Yeah, I, could get, I could get your phone and have a conversation with you. Like, what's your favorite part of a mukbang? What was the favorite food you saw someone eat, or? Who's your most favorite mukbanger? Mine is you. I'm not really a mukbanger because he does all the talking. Because you're the eater, I'm the talker. No. Well, this time you're winning. But also, you had way less. If this was a Minecraft video, you'd do all the talking and, and gaming. And I'd sit there and, you know. Twiddle your thumbs. <sighs> this pad is good, but they, they listen to me. I'll give them that. They made it extra spicy. I don't like it when you tell a place to make it extra spicy, and they don't really do it. They add a little bit of extra salt and pepper, and that's it. You'll say extra spicy, and they'll go like that. No. 
Come on. I said I wanted extra spicy. Make me scream and holler. There's a lot left on that plate, but I'm done. Are you? Stop. You've had pad thai before. Mm -hmm. I think it was in the video where we uh, you were riding go karts. Yeah, and adventure landing. Yeah. I like adventure landing. I didn't show us eating, but I showed the plates, and then we ate, and then I showed the empty plates or nearly empty plates. Hearing from what we've said today, I think people can kind of get a general idea of where we live. Just talking about Fort Bragg adventure landing. Fort Bragg is Fayetteville. Adventure Landing is Raleigh. Yeah, but... We live talking in North, about, like, the state. We live in North Carolina. Yeah, they can, like, figure out the state real easy because Fayetteville and Raleigh, it's like, well, it's in the same state. Why would they be... Why would they be driving across the whole entire country just go to there? Because they were in a different country. Well, I mean, not country. State. They were in a different state. They probably have something like that closer. Stop. I'm going to finish your food. Are you just gonna we'll take a couple of noodles? Come on now. <laughs> Pick that up. Do you need a fork? I see it. Stab it. There you go, sir. Would you like this noodle? No. Nope. I need to get oh. the camera. But I forgot my spring rolls. Will you go get them? And if you need more grape, get that. Spring rolls. Spring rolls. Actually, they're not. Spring rolls. Little spring rolls. What's in them? What type of spring rolls are they? Just you want a bite? What type are they? Spring rolls. What's in them? Take a bite. He gave me the jacked up one with the little jacked up one. My god, these things are still hot? Mm-hmm. Made them specially for us, didn't they? What's in them? Bite it. What's in them? Veggies. Go on, little chickadee. It smells wonderful, but it's veggies, and I hate veggies. I like some places have this dipping sauce for them. I like it. This world can't fit two of us. One's gonna have to like go. a duck sauce goes good with it. Okay. You don't even understand what I'm. I don't even understand what I was just doing. No, I don't. I was doing a Mexican standoff. I was like, Din -in, Din -in. and I was like, there ain't, this world can't fit two of us. Din -in, Din -in. Good thing about this meal is we still have half of each of them left. We're going we're gonna to eat twice on this. So I paid about 20 bucks for it, but it's actually about $5 a meal times four meals.
Well, mine was delicious. Yes, he was. We still got a lot we have to do today. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, follow, do whatever you can to support us. Because you haven't done any homework. Watch videos. Looks like you got food. I mean, from up on your nose, even. Watch videos. Have fun. Hi. Maybe we'll even find something cool to watch on the Olympics tonight. Oh. Anyway, so that was delicious. Get some pad thai. Hopefully, you can find some. <coughs> oh, it smelled grapeish. <laughs> yeah, get some pad thai. Try it. Mild if you're ordering it from a place. Mild if you don't like the spicy. You uh, know. Ow! I think there's another ant in the house. He bit me. We got rid of the, all the ones that was trying to get up here. Anyway, like, subscribe, Yay. and we'll see y'all later. Goodbye.